Hey guys, what is up? This is the Mothership here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get custom splash text in Minecraft. So you might want this if you're making a thumbnail for a video, you want it to look cool, title screen, something awesome when you load it up. I don't know what you want it for, but the first thing you're going to want to do is go to www.7 zip. Oops, that's not a dash. Dash zip.org go there the link will be in the description so you don't have to type that horribly long address in horribly long and you just click on the download link right there exe it'll download um, I will go ahead and download this even though I don't need it because you know I already I already have it I'll just cancel it so go ahead get that installed and uh, perfect now once you have that you're going to have to go to percent app data percent now that is just shift hold shift hit the five key type in app data all one word and then shift five again percent app data percent don't click on anything else just hit enter and you will be taken to this now this page Sorry, my computer freaks out a little bit when I'm running fraps on desktop mode. This page is very simple. You just have to click on .minecraft versions. Whatever version you're currently using, uh, the one that is out right now is 1.7.2, so I'm going to click on that. Right-click on 1.7.2.jar, or whatever jar it is. Go to 7-zip, go right over to Open Archive, and click on that. Now this will open up a whole little world of stuff. Oh, actually, wait, wait, before you do that. Run your Minecraft. And uh, you just have to do this to make sure that there's no edits to it already. And that will be the best thing. You can um, update it to whatever version you want. This should work into the future and beyond that. It also works for previous versions that you use. You could use, um, I don't know, anything that has the splash text on it. You can go in and edit it now. Colormatic! Beautiful. Alright, and let's close out of that now that we've done it. Okay, go back here and open the archive. Now this is going to have three folders at the top. And only two of them you need to worry about here. Net isn't really all that important. Um, so just go to MetaInf. And this is the biggest thing that people screw up. They always end up failing this. I don't know how you can fail this, but this is the one thing you have to do. Delete MetaInf. Just do it. Delete it. It's anti-modding, anti-everything. And I hate it, and it manifests, and it's just not good. So then click on Assets. Here, I'll show you. Click on Assets, Minecraft, and Texts. Once you're here, you can click on Splashes.Text, right-click it, and you have to go down to Edit. It's the fourth one down. Edit. Not open, not open inside, not open outside. Those might work on your computer, but go down to Edit. This will work. So, you hit Edit, and you get this list. This is all of the splash text that exist in Minecraft. So, pretty cool, right? You know, Canada! <laughs> Microsco macroscopic! Notch loves easy. Alright, great, it's all good, but hit Control A, that'll select it all, and you can just click Delete. Wipes it clean. Now, whatever you want your splash text to be, uh, do this first. So, you might want it to be, say, Super califragilistic expialidocious. Super califragilistic exp. whatever the crap that is. But if you do that, there is occasionally. I think that's already splash text anyway. There's occasionally an issue that I will show you here. Uh, sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. I think it depends on what the text actually is. But if you do this, it will put some weird symbols in front of it occasionally. I didn't have this issue in beta, but I had a few issues with this last time I tried it. 
let's just see if that does happen here. And, uh, my Minecraft is a little bit laggy occasionally. Oh. You know, I forgot to save this. And I feel like a failure now. Alright. So go ahead and close out of that. Yes. Alright. Now let's load Minecraft up, and we'll see what happens. So, it's really simple to do this. It, it didn't take long at all. But... There might be an issue, and I can show you how to fix that. So, logging in, my computer is really derping around because I uploaded videos to YouTube, and they were taking up space and everything. Oh, there we go. Alright, you can see at the top it says Super California, all that crap. But there's a little box there, and if you look really closely, it does say some weird letters or symbols inside of that box. And that's a problem, especially if you want to make a YouTube video and you want to have that at the top, and or a thumbnail, and it looks really unattractive. So since you're only going to be wanting this for a one-time use, because it doesn't work usually for a long-time use, Mo Yang made sure of that with MetaInf coming back, you have to actually go to Edit Again, and leave whatever you want at the top as uh, just blank. You can type anything you want up there. It really doesn't matter. It's gonna be chickens anyway. It it really doesn't matter. Put whatever you want at the top. Put what you actually want it to say for, you know, whatever you're using it for. Like, uh, subscribe, which is something you should also do. That is, that is a really good idea, you know. Click that beautiful button down there. That, that beautiful button. Now let's put something else, too. Coolio, uh, Mothership is a Bawas, go eat cats. Alright, perfect. Put whatever you want in there, just leave the first one as blah 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 blah, whatever. You're not going to be using it. Was modified? Yes. You click yes there. You want it to stay modified and stuff not. What, what not. Sorry, you can go back to the main screen. You have to leave this open. It is very important that you leave this open. If you don't, um, you're gonna die of asphyxiation. No, I'm just kidding. It's not going to work. The reason is that the meta inf folder comes back because it has a property called manifest. It will stay in this folder, but right now it is, um, I guess you could say it's hiding. It will come back, though, if you run Minecraft without this open. So you can minimize that. You can minimize this or close out of it. As long as you keep this open. So now if we load up Minecraft, you can see it is pro... Well, you can't see that yet, but of course it is. It's mine. If any of you are wondering, this background is something I made a long time ago for a Halloween contest. Had a guillotine and everything in it. You know, I was pretty proud of it. So, here we go. You can now see that... Subscribe! Hey, that's one of the splash decks we put up. Now, if this is not the one you want for the specific occasion, just go to single player, click on any one of your single player worlds. Uh, this should work for multiplayer also. So, you go into a world. That's my old ninja mod review. Coolio! Awesome! Boss SMP! Let's see if Boss SMP works, too. Hey! Sup? Good. Perfect. Subscribe. No, maybe that one. Oh, wait, yeah, that did. That did change from Coolio. So, at some point, it will change every time you log in to a world. And that is how you can get what you want. You can go ahead and hit F2 here. I think I just hit F2. Pretty sure I did. Did I? And you can go in. I typed that wrong. I typed that completely wrong. I typed. That's not even close to what I was supposed to write. App data percent. Good. Minecraft. Screenshots. Don't look at my screenshots. Don't look at my screenshots. You fool. Okay. No, it's not in there. You can use some other program like, say, Fraps or just hit. Go Google what it is to screenshot that. Take a video of it. Take a picture of it with your iPod. Heck, I don't care. 
As long as you leave this open, it will show these. You can cycle through them. And, uh, yeah, that's really it. If you want, you can go, you can edit texts such as credits.txt, end.txt. That's when you kill the Ender Dragon. You'll see that. Uh, you can edit language, I guess? Shaders? Uh, go ahead and edit whatever you want. I uh, thank you for watching. I really hope this was helpful to you. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I will be making many, many more in the future. I just realized there was a lack of splash text tutorials out there. And I really wanted you guys to see this one updated for 1.7.2. So, again, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all later.